Hi, it's Bill Walton from Bill Walton Sales Training, Amazon best-selling author and Quilly Award winner. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, the topic is four steps to new business. And now when we're at step four, engagement. If you've been with us up through steps one through three, you're in a great position right now. So what do you have? Number one, you've got this client type prospecting mindset where you're thinking about the industries and the sub industries where you can have some success and who the right stakeholders might be. Number two, you've actually segmented those prospects based on that. And you've got a really good prioritized list and you've got a lot of confidence around that. The third step, we talked about messaging. You've got client type messaging that you feel great uh, for telling and want to tell a lot of folks about because what's inside of that is credibility for you, credibility in the form of why other customers and clients have chosen specifically to work with you and why you thought that prospect would be interested. Well, now it's time for engagement. So I wanted to break this video very briefly into two parts. Number one, outreach, which is typically email, social media, or the phone, and also meeting face-to-face. -face. So let's just a really quick word about outreach. Anyone worth reaching in your network or on your target list is probably not gonna be easy to reach. Anyone who is someone who's busy, has the ability to buy, making things happen in their organization, they're in meetings, they travel, and they've typically got a gatekeeper or two protecting their calendar on their phone. So it's gonna take multiple touches, multiple emails, multiple touches on social media, and a few calls, but hopefully you can make those varied and valuable and have those be, be meaningful. Typically it's six to seven touches to have a meaningful conversation with a prospect, so that's number one. Let me just talk briefly about email. Leverage that subject line, and your email should follow your messaging flow in terms of establishing who you are, why those folks, why other folks choose to work with you, and why you thought it was important for you to reach out to this particular prospect and the value that they would derive from meeting with them. So don't forget that. Social media is the same. I would slow walk the social media piece a little bit. You just want to earn the right to be able to connect with someone, uh, but also your messaging can come into play. And I'm very respectful and deferential about that. And certainly the phone, you want to call around calling hours first thing in the morning or after 4.30 in the afternoon to really make sure you can get someone either before the day starts or as the day is kind of winding down. So that's outreach. Face-to-face -face is a little different. Typically, the face-to-face -face interaction is going to fall into th one of three categories. Some initial coffee talk meeting or initial conversation. A second meeting to clarify and do some more fact-finding. And then third and, third and subsequent meeting is going to deal with either you presenting some type of solution or working out options to think about if you can uh, work together as, as client and, and certainly solution seller. So that said, one of the things to be mindful of is the emotional quotient typically changes as you go from meeting to meeting to meeting. First meetings are always great. There's no pressure. We're getting to know one another. But as you start uncovering needs and maybe uncovering some pain points, I like to call them pebbles in the prospect shoe, things get a little different. Folks start realizing, hey, listen, maybe there's some issues that I really need to look at that maybe I've been avoiding. Or now I've got to start making a decision because these conversations with the salesperson has been great. I've got to find some resources to make something happen. And, and do that, which, which is always uh, something to think about uh, depending on the organization and how that organization buys. So we're at step four. Four steps to new business now is all about engagement, both outreach and face-to-face. -face. There's certain dynamics. Remember, it's not going to be easy to get a hold of someone, anyone who is someone. It's going to take multiple touches. And beware the dynamic of meeting to meeting to meeting based on where your buyer is and how good of a job you're doing uncovering pain points and pebbles in that buyer's shoe. So that's step four of four steps to new business now. I'm Bill Walton. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, before I go, check out our website, BillWaltonSalesTraining.com, or send me a note personally. I'd love to hear from you at bwalton at BillWaltonSalesTraining.com. Thanks for joining me, and good selling, everybody.